January 31. Words to Ponder Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Psalms chapter 19, verse 14, King James Version. With verbal communication, we use thousands of words that, when put together, create messages for conversation. When we think of this function God has created, we can see that His plan was for verbal interaction along with the other incredible functions of human body. Some words bring comfort and cheer. Others hurt. We have choices of words for every occasion. Some have a profound feeling about them. I have chosen to highlight four out of many. Love reminds me of God's love for me. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3, verse 16 We are admonished to love others. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. 1 John chapter 4, verse 11 in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, we read, And now abide faith, hope, love, this three, but the greatest of this is love. Peace is a beautiful thought. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 tells us, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. When I go out in the country amid things of nature, my mind becomes peaceful. God give us quiet places to renew our minds. For he knows we need peace. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 Hope encourages me every day when so much in this world can cause despair. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalms chapter 31 verse 24 Happiness is my fourth word. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 13 Jesus desires that we should be happy. For this is a witness before others of his love and care. The first three fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 And Proverbs chapter 16 verse 20 shares that Whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. In this world of sadness and strife, Satan would rob us of love, peace, hope, and happiness. However, there will soon be a day of rejoicing. For when Jesus comes, only words of praise will pass our lips. Lenwick Sandy